You're about to watch a fiscast on experimental uncertainties. Sometimes you see this referred to as experimental errors. Don't be confused. Errors, in this sense, do not mean mistakes. They mean simply uncertainties, the limit to which we can represent the accuracy of a quantity. You may have a number like, um, a very simple number, we'll draw um, 3.66. If I were given this as a, a quantity, I would understand that I'm not given more than two decimal places because the uncertainty starts there. There's no point going beyond that. We say here that we have one, two, three significant figures. How big is uncertainty associated with this? I have no idea. It could be this. The only way we will know is, by, is from the experiment we're carrying out or from the measurement that we're taking. The purpose of this FISCAST is not to determine experiment uncertainties, but simply to, to tell you how to represent them. Here's a question for you. Here are three numbers, 8.63, 8.63, clear, and 0.0863. This one, the very first one, has one, two, three significant figures. The uncertainty starts in the second decimal place. The next number, one, two, three, oops, four. That has, in fact, four significant figures. Is that zero important? Yes, absolutely. It's as important as any of the other digits of 1 to 9. This second number here is much more accurate than this. Let's look at the third one. This one has, where do we start counting for the 0 0.00863? Well, we start from the first non-zero digit. 1, 2, 3. That has three significant figures, exactly the same as the third number. In fact, the 8.63 and the 0.00863 could easily be represented in exactly the same measurement. For example, this could be 8.63 metres, and this could be 0 0.0063 kilometres. They're both three significant figures. In fact, it's the very same measurement. You may, from your calculator, end up with numbers with lots of decimal places. Uh, for example, um, you may be doing calculation and you end up with a quantity with this uncertainty. If you gave that to me in a report, I would be most unhappy because this is where the uncertainty is starting. So why give me the six? No point. What we do, we round this to 0 0.08. We give the uncertainty to one digit. There's no point going further than that. Well, if the uncertainty is given to two decimal places, the same must be true of the quantity itself. No point giving that to more accuracy in the uncertainty. So that it becomes 17.99 plus or minus 0 0.08. That's how you represent it. One figure. Let's try another one. You probably think you've got it, but there's a little trap that you have to be very, very careful with. Um, and you may get something like this. You say, same thing. We don't go beyond the second decimal place. So we round it and we go 0, 0.0. You may be tempted to write a 6 there, but you'd be wrong. It's a 7. The reason is, when we are rounding off uncertainties, we never, ever underestimate uncertainty, and we always round up. So, we have 19.27 plus or minus. That's how we represent it. Possibly you may get another number like this. 62.9 plus or minus 341.8. Well, so we go with uncertainty again. How do we represent that one figure? What figure do we use? Can't use three because it's 300 and something. I'll put you out of your misery. We make a very clever use of exponents. This 341.8, three, three, we write it like this. You watching? Carefully. 418 right. times 10 to the 3. And we do the same. 
with the value itself. Now it's straightforward, just as we've done before. Um, when you see the point 0.3418, you round, remember, you round up, up, it becomes that, and this number here becomes simply 9.8 plus or minus, and don't forget, 10 to the Swingland Production.